The Word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing as under of the soul and spirit, and of the joints and the marrow, and is a critic of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. All Scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Psalm 127, 3 to 5. Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is his reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but shall speak with their enemies in the gate. Malachi 4, 6, And he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the earth with a curse. Proverbs 23, 13 to 14, Do not withhold correction from a child, for if you beat him with a rod, he will not die. You shall beat him with a rod and deliver his soul from hell. Proverbs 18.22 He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Ecclesiastes 8.12 Though a sinner does evil a hundred times and his days are prolonged, Yet I surely know that it will be well with those who fear God, who fear before Him. Sa dili pa kita magawadayon sa itong pagtuon sa pulong sa Diyos ni Iling Adlawa, sama sa nandan, gikinahanglan ng itong pagsusi sa itong tagsa-tagsa kakalag ko na napapagitan mga sala. Kaya kinimahimu lamang babag sa itong pagbuhaton bo sa ato karon nga gamito ng prinsipyo sa 1 John 1.9, If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Humani mo buhanta ka na ikaw mapuna ng sab sa Espiritu Santo, may balik ang imong pagkikamitay sa Diyos, o andam na sa Bikos pagpadayon sa pagtuon sa balang pulong sa Diyos. Ang panalang ka ni mo higala nga wala pa ikaluwasan. Paminawi ang uh, mayong balita sa kaluwasan. Unsao ni mo pagkailangit. Unsao ni mo pagkaluwas. Kaya usal lamang ang pagi nga giandam sa Diyos ka ni mo. Tumo ka kang ginong Isus o gikaw maluwas. Acts 16.31 Walay laing manluwas si Gino Iso Cristo lamang. Acts 4.12 Neither is there salvation on any other under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Si mismo siya si Gino Iso Cristo mismo nagsulti. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Uh, John 14.6 Busa, karon magandam ta sa itong kaugalingon pinagi sa hilom ng pagampo. Let us pray. Ama na mong langit nun, salamat na inilayang ngayon sa among pagtuon sa imong pulong. Salamat nga ang imo pagkaming ipabuhi, nini nga mong lawas, kini di mahilan nga ikaw nagapadayon pa sa paglihok ang imong plano sa among kinabuhi. Salamat o Diyos sa imong grasya. Bisan pa nga mong Bible study, pinagi sa YouTube. Salamat ni ini, 
Bani kami karon pinagispagtudlo ka namo sa bagang Espiritu Santo. Kining tanan, among ipasalamatan sa ngala ni Ginoong Iso Kristo, mong bugtong manluluwas. Amen. Maayong adlaw sa na to mga subscribers, mga higala, mga silingan, kaninyong bago pa, mi suway sa pag uh, paminaw din ng atong Bible study through the YouTube. O kaninyong mga igsuon din ni Kristo, welcome kaninyong tanan with open arms and um, giyabiyabi ka mong tanan. Okay? So, karon wad tutok sa pagtutok uh, sa atong pagantunan. Let us concentrate. Niya pagkita sa atong tunanan di protocol plan of God. Unas tanan sa atong ibiyaan kagahapon nga gisugutan nga <coughs> uh, danghan mga katawhan nga dili paluwas nga wag yun sila alam magbahin sa kaluwasan. That's why um, naiuban kanila mo himo mga <coughs> pasangil o mga malibad. You see, it is most painful for the unbeliever to wind up in the lake of fire which is the uh, eternal destiny sa mga di magtutuo. So, ang hulga nila nga nakasala sila sa salang di na mapasailo di ang for an unpardonable sin the warning about the lake of fire the warning meaning unpardonable sin lagi kini moy makapasakit ug naay discomfort nga ilang bation that's why they have all kinds of smoke screens sa kun ang ginaingon kanimo that they throw up like wa 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 ko kasabot ng inyong gihisgutan I don't talk about religion and politics. Mind your own business, or I am not interested. Guban pa. Well, sa ako nang ginayon kanimo, dili magtutuo. Now, this is addressed to you. If you are an unbeliever, the day will come when you are going to be interested. Negative volition is not going to go on forever. Dili ni mula hutay. So, nagtulisok kini di magtutuo sa ikamatay gini. It haunts the unbeliever to death. Maray gisulti diha sa Lucas 16, di sunoy bing ato sa 31. Ayun nung nung kasi atong dato ng tao that he had his death and they had a great funeral. They wanted to honor the memory, paghandong kaniya, especially those who have inherited this wealth. Iba, apan ang dili mo tutuo, nagkita sa iyang lawas diha sa lungon gisod, o ilakining ilubong na diha the funeral and they buried him. Ilubong nila, mourned for thirty days but has been mourning for 30 days and no torments na. Kasakita na. And it was just getting worse. So, kadtong dato nga tao went to torments tungod kay iyang gisalikway si Ginoong Iso Cristo nga manduruwas. Not because he was wealthy. Kaya magibili ng tanan niya mga kahimanan, kayamanan, mga Um, sa mga kabdangan, he left all his wealth behind on the earth. O karon, he is eternally poor. O diha lang siya ay duha ka mga uh, hangyo o ato hinumduman or you may not recall the uh, gipadayag kini diha sa Lucas disciples. He wanted Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and touch his tongue tungod kay matud pa niya I'm constantly tormented in this flame with pain and I am dehydrated and iba na makaw kung sa'y batiyon kung ikaw ma-dehydrated 
dili gyud ka mahalo na it's very uncomfortable ug ang ikaduha niyang hangyo mao ang pagpadalang lasaro balik kay kay ikaduha kini niyang hangyo ipabalik niya ni Abraham send Lazarus back to my father's house tungod kay dinha pa sa lima ka mga isuong laki unless they also come to this place of torture or torment. So, karon compassionate na siya. He knows two things. It's too late for him. Kaluha, it's not too late for his brothers. But, he knows of his brothers now. This, this rich man is in torments. Now, tinood of all unbelievers in torments, they have a very clear understanding sa isyo sa mayong balita sa kaluwasan. Ay, it is absolute. Kung makita ni mo sa ilang mga naong, they know that if they don't accept Christ as Savior on the earth, any unbeliever is gonna wind up sa mauragya pong dapit nito sa kasakitan. And, uh, ang mga di magtutuo in torments, do not want anybody else to go there. Mga nilabing tinuon. Kaya binibu, ang Lucas 16, 19-31, dili ni parable. It's never referred to as a parable. Now, kining uh, dato nga tao is going to torments, and that is the warming up spot. Murag una-una, uh, painit-init, uh, warming up spot for the great white throne judgment and gikan diha to the lake of fire. Namaw na na. Katapusan nilang destino. Where the unbelievers tormented day and night forever and ever and ever and ever. Now, therefore, ang hulga or threat, the conviction sa di na mapasailong sala ang remaining negative in rejection of Christ as Savior, kini mag-produce o great discomfort and stress sa kalag sa di magtutuo. O kini, gidisin yung yun sa Diyos gamahan. And in the convicting ministry of the Holy Spirit, to accomplish that, ikaw ako, do not lead anybody to Christ. Dili. Dito magka pa kumbinser ni Bisang Kinsa sa pagdawat kang Kristo. No. We don't lead anybody to Christ. It is God the Holy Spirit's work and He does it. So, ang ato, igol lang tamuhatag sa minsahe. The believer is working for the divine post office. He just delivered the message, the mail believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Now, what tayo mahimu? What tayo gahom to cause an unbeliever to understand the gospel message? Wala. Or to convict him sa salang di ng masailo. Now, sanglit, di li mang kinikasagaran. This is supernatural. It is only God, the Holy Spirit, who does it. And he always does it. Sa diha nga ang mayang balita sa kaluwasan ipresentar. Ang iyang korta nga idisdes, uh, the scalpel, maong pulong sa Diyos. Ang espada sa Espiritu, maong ang pulong sa Diyos. Hebrews 4.12, Ephesians 6.17, Hebrews 3.7, and following. Now, ang tingog sa Espiritu Santo, maong pulong sa Diyos. O ang Diyos Espiritu Santo, siya, pinagi sa iyang salvation ministries, is His convicting or His pre-salvation ministries, is His convicting ministry sa dili na mapasailong sala, ng sa dili magtutuo. Akong malikon, the voice of the Holy Spirit is the Word of God. And God, the Holy Spirit, in, in one of His 
Salvation Ministries is his convicting or his pre-salvation ministries is his convicting ministry of the unpardonable sin of the unbeliever. Ang mga di magtutuo God, wamasayon ni ini. Kung imong ipresentar ng mga mayong balita sa kaluwasan, na ay pipila ka mga mag, uh, dili magtuto. I mean, some un... Oh, no, 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 correction. Kay mga mantas passing ni ini. Kung atong ipresentar ang mayong balita sa kaluwasan, na ay mga magtutuo nga mo presentar ni ini nga ito sa limang totoo, if the unbeliever is negative, hmm, kung magnegatibo siya, he will look at that believer and take it out on the unbeliever. All the believer did, mao ang paghatag ragyod sa mayong balita sa kaluwasan ng mensahe. O, it is God the Holy Spirit that causes the unbeliever to understand it. The unbeliever is spiritually dead, as I heard naman ka. But time man siya spiritual. So, he does not have an activated human spirit. Mao nga ang Diyos Espiritu Santo, mao ay uh, kanang makapasabot sa mga balita sa kaluwasan. Ang minsahe ni Inigat to sa unsa, dili magtutuo. God has to explain it to the mentality of his soul. O ang Diyos Pedro Santo always does it. Maugin na ang iyang trabaho. So the responsibility is God the Holy Spirit. Gusto? Atong klaruhon gini. Ang Diyos Pedro Santo is the one who leads anybody to Christ, not we. Dili kita. That is God the Holy Spirit's job, not ours. And the conviction of the unpardonable sin, you know what happens when people are uncomfortable? Kung uh, you know, ta smart, kini sila, if they are smart, they try to get out of their discomfort. And there's only one of two ways for the unbeliever to get out of this. Change his attitude. Trust in the Christ the Savior. That is the recommended procedure. And that's the only way to avoid the lake of fire. That's absolute, absolutely the only way to avoid it. The other one is mm, forget about it. But that won't solve the problem. Because it's going to come up the next time God the Holy Spirit reminds the unbeliever on the gospel message from whatever source, or it's going to come up with death, then it's too late. So, the knowledge of the unpardonable sin and the knowledge of eternal punishment in the lake of fire, to bring about this positive change of mental attitude na diyan ang di magtutuo, mausab na sa iyang pagtagad, gikan sa why gana, why interest, where he wants, uh, he wants eternal life. Meaning, nausab ang iyang pagtagad ni ini. And remember, ingon nga magtutuo ni Ginoong Iso Kristo, ayaw giyod uh, ka ng pugsa ang dili magtutuo to make a decision. Ayaw. Do not put pressure on the unbeliever to make a decision. And don't ever try to put pressure on the unbeliever. Samot ka. Ayaw. Ayaw pamugos. Tahura ang iyang kabubuton. It is God, the Holy Spirit, who uses the truth. Sabtagina. That is what brings proper pressure. And by honoring and recognizing the freedom of the unbeliever, which freedom the volition resident in his soul, to accept 
or to reject Christ as Savior, you are assigning to Him something that is already there. Ang iyang kagawasan sa pagpili. And by honoring it, imong gibutang ang full 100% responsibility upon Him that instead, incidentally is already there. Sabot ka. You're just recognizing the reality of it. Kaya binimo, ang dambing matunggang ibangilista of all time had the worst attitude of all time. Numdong ka ni Juna. <laughs> Kanto siya dilibot nga ang mga katawas ni Nive, maluwas. That's why he ran to Tarshish. May dagan siya dito sa Tarshish. So, ran down to Japa and got a ship. Ngita siya sa kaya ng uh, kanang baruto and tried to go to Spain. So, so may mong makita niya, he tried to run away from God. So, kinis Juna, agi pagka idiot. He just blocked out his whole knowledge of doctrine and tried to run away from God. Well, <laughs> to avoid Nineveh, kung iya pangilikayan yun tinood ang Nineveh, all he had to do was to stay home. Maoranta. But why try to run away to Tarshish? See? Mo ka na ang tanghaga yun ta. He went to Tarshish to avoid going to Nineveh. But what Jonah was trying to do was to get this responsibility that God had put on him uh, to go to Nineveh out of his mind, you see. So the best way to do that was to go to other direction. But of course, wa man to mo salir, wa magdugay. Just three days, tulukan lao niya, that's it. And he was back home again. This time he figured he better go. But he was burning with anger about it. So cool, it's siya. It's interesting in Hebrew. There was one class which just translated the first four verses of Jonah, uh, chapter 4. It was evil. Kining hitabua, uh, this situation of the salvation of 120,000 people, kini mga inhabitants of the city of Nineveh, was evil para ni Juna. And he was intensely angry. He was burning with anger about it. Nga naman, tungod kay nangaluwas man sila. Kita mo, this guy is weird. Angry because they accepted Christ as their savior. Flat out weird. Maugina yan itong ika, hulagwa yung Juna. And completely, completely satanic in his observation in this situation. Well, he is anti-biblical as he could possibly be. So, God gave him a couple of wake-up calls along the way. Now, ito ni Hipadayo Nugma, din niyo na kita kutob pagkakaroon no. At itong susiho na sumpay sumpay na ng istorya bahay ni Juna. Magampo ta. Abahan na mong langit noon nagpasalamat kami kanimo sa imong grasya ang among ipay muslan ni ining adlawa salamat o Diyos sa imong pag-iya ka na mo bahay ni kalwasan nga may kalabutan sa among uh, uluhan the protocol plan of God lamdagi pa kaming dugang bahay ni ini mga butang aron madugangan ang among kaalam gikan sa imo mga pulong salamat imo Bible study through the YouTube kining tanan among ipasalamatan sa ngala ni Ginoong Kristo. amen <music>